Hello, and thanks for tuning in. I'm Larry Tritel, and welcome to Great Music Stories. This is the story of a really cool song from 1973, Rock On by David Essex. The song was originally written for the movie That'll Be The Day, but was rejected by producer David Putnam for being too weird. Rock On has extra special production work on it from musician Jeff Wayne. Wayne said that when Essex first played him the song, he had no instruments. He just was banging on a trash can. So Wayne added lots of echo and created a mood. Amazingly, the recording has no guitars or keyboards on it. Even now, the song remains pretty experimental for a pop song. Essex regrets that when the song hit it really big, that he didn't come over from England and tour in the U.S. He said he had his family and things going on in England at the time. That incredible bass part on the song was played by top-notch bassist Herbie Flowers. Herbie's bass part was double-tracked with lots of slapback echo on it. Flowers was rewarded for the great job he did on the song by getting paid twice as much as he would have normally received. And fun fact, Herbie Flowers is the same guy who played that iconic bass part you hear on Lou Reed's Take a Walk on the Wild Side. The song reached number 5 on the Billboard Hot 100. It was number 3 in the UK and hit the number one spot in Canada. Some lyrics include, Still looking for that blue jean, baby queen, prettiest girl I've ever seen. See her shake on the movie screen? Jimmy Dean. How great is that? I hope you enjoyed this story. Till next time, remember what the great Ian Anderson said, Life's a long song, but the tune ends too soon for us all.